Okay, students. In the previous class, you have I have stopped the gymnosperm. Till the gymnosperm, you have completed. And now next class means this class, you have what starting with what angiosperm. Angiosperm. So what is angiosperm? She means here angio means closed. And sperma means seed. Seeds are enclosed by the fruit wall, or it is called as what ovarian wall, ovary wall, angiosperm. And uh, see, for example, this is a ovary, and this is a seed. Seed, and this is fruit wall. Now, so means. Inside the fruit, the seed is present. So that is why, unlike the gymnosperm, here in seed is not a naked. Seed is not a open. It is enclosed by the fruit wall. That is why they are called as a angiosperm. And all the angiosperm produce flower. And that is why they are called as flowering plant. That is why they are called as what flowering. Plant. So, flowering plant. Say they produce the flower. Different type of flowering plants are there in the nature, and all these flowering plant they what produce their one different kind of what the flower, and that flower may be uh, unisexual flower or bisexual flower. That may be vary further. Anyhow, all are called as generally called as what the flowering plant, and these uh, uh, flowering plants having a large group of plants. Large group of plant and they range in size from tiny, tiny under a bala microscopic in the head, though bala bigger than can either tiny microscopic. The best example is a wolfia, wolfia and the brother, and to tall and the trees like there is a eucalyptus tree, eucalyptus tree, caldera, eucalyptus and the other, you know, niligiri. So uh, that is also the one type of, and uh, there is a hundred meters, uh, you know, tall than can So like this, uh, so uh, they are uh, the different type. Generally, the angiosperm is another now. Here, two type of divide more. That is one is monocotyledonous, monocotyledon, and another one is dicotyledon. There are two type of what the. Flowering plants are there. Angiosperm plants are there. There is a one is the monocot plant. Another one is a dicot plant. Why they are considered as a monocotyledon and the dicotyledon? See, monocotyledon they have seed with only one cotyledon. One day one do cotyledon. New seed open up and there. Walla gade ke yeh do dada si go dilna. Arda ida. Adra dicotyledon dali ha galla. If it is a seed is opened. Two separate cotyledons are there. Two separate cotyledons are there, and what uh, that uh, cotyledon? So what uh, so the divided two separate, divided two separate cotyledon structure. For example, new groundnut that called groundnut, groundnut. Her color is brown color seed coat. That is there, and you can see the two cotyledon, and that also you can see. Now, what on the screen? How the dicotyledon seed and the monocotyledon seeds are present, and generally. What uh, so dicot and monocot can be distinguished. Uh, they are the uh, dicot. They are having a two cotyledon, here two cotyledon. That is why no dicot seed generally are like this. Dicot seed and generally it is uh, like this. Uh, and uh, if it is opened, two cotyledon you can uh, see two cotyledon. That is monocot seed. That is just like a maize. No, the maize and uh, seed you can see like this. Uh, A maize seed, and in which you cannot see the two cotyledon. So that is the important characteristic feature of this. And particularly the monocot, see and dicot are distinguished. Mind there, the monocot and dicot. Dicot leaves have see dicot leaves see you type of thing, and they have a venation is a reticulate venation. They have a reticulate venation. A reticulate venation. Are there any monocot in order to do that? And monocot in which venation is like this, and it is called as the parallel venation. E type venation, brother. This is called as parallel venation. Parallel venation. Venation, are there any? So venation means arrangement of veins on the leaf. Arrangement of veins in the leaf. 
and that is the most important characteristic feature of the what the here uh, the vein so agagi dicot the li iruvantaddu veins e type adike reticulate anta kirudave ade monocot the lagi dre parallel venation agagi only after uh, observing only uh, you look at the tree either that uh, tree is a monocot tree or the dicot tree anta neevu gothamadave then second thing generally in all the what uh, the dicot the flowers flowers are tetramerous tetramerous or pentamerous tetramerous or pentamerous yenidu tetramerous athwa pentamerous andre the flower dalli petals petals are either four hige either four idu four petal 1 2 3 4 or petals may be the five hige five petals five petals ಇದೆ ಫೈವ್ ಪಟಲ್ಸ್ ಇಬ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಪೆಂಟಾಮರಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪಟಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಪಲ್ ಎರಡು ಬರ್ತದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಕ್ಯಾಲಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕೊರೋಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಫೈವ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪೆಂಟಾಮರಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೆಟ್ರಾಮರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೈಕೌಟ್ ಇನ್ನು ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೊನಾಕೋಟದಲ್ಲಾಗಿದ್ದರೆ ಇನ್ನು ಮೊನಾಕೋಟ್ ಜನರಲಿ ದ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಮರಸ್ 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 ಅಂದರೆ ಮೂರು ಮೂರು ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಮೂರು ಮೂರು ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಸೆಪಲ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಹೋರ್ಲ್ ಯಾ ತ್ರೀ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಫ್ಲೋರಲ್ ಹೋರ್ಲ್ ಹಾಗಿದ್ದರೆ ಇದು ಟ್ರೈಮರಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮೂರು ಮೂರೇ ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂರು ಮೂರೇ ಇರೋದು ಕೆಳಗಡೆಗೆ ಮೂರು ಮೇಲ್ಗಡೆ ಮೂರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಹಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅನದರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಮರಸ್ ಅಬೋ ತ್ರೀ ಬಿಲೋ ತ್ರೀ and that result in the the trimerous condition now i think you understood see the clearly the diagram shown the dicotyledons and the monocotyledon dicot having a reticulate venation monocot having a parallel venation and then the flower is a tetramerous or pentamerous and here is a the trimerous and the dicot having a what a two cotyledon and monocot having a one cotyledon and one more difference is there the root so root of a dicot is called as tap root and here it is called as what fibrous root monocot root is called as what fibrous root andre gonchal gonchal agirthave so tap root is like this you can see the tap root structure nodi tap root structure e type irthave tap root structure is a, and this is a mother uh, what root and uh, this is a tap root adhe uh, fibrous root agidre and you can see like this fibrous and they are brush type full brush type and that look like a fibrous this is a fibrous root type structure so this is about the monocot and the dicot then the reproduction so what kind of reproduction taken place here in so reproduction that is taken place in so uh, flower the flower generally what produce uh, the androecium gynaecium etc and the flower as a reproductive structure that having a male sex organ that having what the male sex organ as well as a female sex organ so the male sex organ that containing androecium and the female sex organ that containing what the gynaecium so the both the androecium and the gynaecium are what here the reproduction sorry so reproduction uh, the flower reproduce uh, uh, sexually and they having uh, the androecium the gynaecium and some flowers may be unisexual flower some may be the bisexual flower and that uh, uh, may be vary from the uh, plant to plant anyhow either they are unisexual or the bisexual here they reproduce sexually the male sex organ flower the male sex organ of the flower is called the androecium male sex organ of the flower is called as what androecium male sex organ is androecium see the androecium produce large number of stamen and stamen in turn produce pollen grains stamen in turn produce what the pollen grain and these pollen grain containing what the pollen mother cell means uh, the pollen grain containing the male gamete and that is the uh, what the sperm so within the anther 
within the what the stamen stamen containing large number of anther and when the anther burst the pollen grain coming out so in other word the pollen mother cell what uh, divide meiotically and that to produce a large number of microspore and these microspore mature into what the pollen grain and such a pollen grain is a male gamete in the case of the female in the case of the female the female sex organ the female sex organ is gynoecium female sex organ is a gynoecium and that containing large number of carpel sometime it is also called the pistil and it consists of swollen ovary and the diagram also you can see that containing swollen ovary and at the base <coughs> the ovary is swollen like this is the base and this is the ovary and here is a style and this is the what stigma when on the stigma on the stigma the stamen means what the pollen grain fall the pollen grain fall and that uh, falling of a pollen grain onto the stigma and that is called as pollination okay that is called as what the pollination and the pollination is in a very very important uh, significant significant process uh, and without which uh, highly highly not possible to carry what the uh, process of fertilization in the angiosperm so thereby a ovule has an megaspore mother cell every ovule has an the ovule here is a ovary and this is ovule the ovule has an the megaspore and this megaspore cell that undergoes a meiosis to form four haploid megaspore four haploid megaspore a uh, four haploid megaspore the only only one is a functional and three of them degenerate and uh, so that become non functional why they degenerate and why only one become functional that also you will going to study in the next year second year science you will come to know what kind of process taken place in them to what to make only one functional and what uh, remaining three degenerate because remaining three why they degenerate because and they having a polar bodies because of this reason they become degenerate and only one that are not do not containing what polar body and that having all the functional cytoplasmic content in the one and that is why it become only the functional and that to form a embryo sac remember it is what embryo sac you can see in angiosperm how exactly the process of alternation of generation taken place sporophytic generation gametophytic generation hege aagutade illu nodi the plant what you see that uh, plant is actually it is what the diploid now minge yen plant kaanasta idiyo adu diploid and that is a sporophytic life cycle you understand adu sporophytic adu sporophyte and that is a diploid and when a plant ige flower bartadiyo and then when the plant begin to what give flower and that flowering flowering condition is a beginning of the what gametophyte like andre the flower that containing male sex organ andre androecium and the female sex organ means is a gynoecium so means uh, the androecium produce a pollen grain and that is a male gamete and this is a male gamete and then uh, the female sex organ there is a gynoecium and that produce the female gamete so male gamete or the female gamete and that is the what a gametophytic condition and that gametophytic condition produce the what uh, two different male and female gamete and that to be particularly what uh, the male gamete in the stamen and the anther and the female gamete in the ovary means it is what the ovule when they meet and that result again in the formation of a zygote that also you can see see gametophytic condition or the sporophytic condition matte puna zygote formation aagutade and when once again the recurrent cycle repeat once again the return bartane nodi how for example you take an example the uh, mango tree no in the season the mango tree produce the flower mango tree itself is a sporophyte is a diploid and this sporophyte mango tree flower means it begin to what give gamete flowering and that gamete mature and then pollination taken place no mature andre season dalli flower bartade flower band mele pollination aagutade and then after the pollination zygote begin to develop and that zygote once again diploid start means sporophytic is a dominant 
in all angiosperm and gametophytic is undominant in the small stage only gamete forming stage so when what that uh, zygote formation taking place means the pollination taking place and after the pollination zygote zygote undergone for the continuous mitotic division and mitotic division uh, that uh, result in the formation of large number of cell and uh, uh, day by day the zygote develop into fruit and then inside the fruit the, the seeds are also there and then uh, mango formation taken place alva mango tayar aagutade and then when that mango ripen andra mango hannu aagutadiyo and that content of mango we eat and what we throw the seed we throw andre seeds anna now essa ide anta andre horagadige sporophyte iruvanta diploid condition seeds anna horagade essa ideve and same seed once again germinate in the moisture condition andre malegaladalli germinate agi innond mango tree baruthade so means here once again the life cycle repeat andre seed is the end product of the sexual reproduction adhe seed germinate agidre adu sporophyte adhe seed germinate agidre you will get the another what mango tree so the thereby reproduction what in uh, what the any the angiosperm plant that is by formation of the flower flower is a most important prob characteristic feature see that embryo sac diagram is given embryo sac that containing uh, the egg apparatus and that uh, all is uh, shown here in the diagram so yeah egg, egg apparatus is there egg apparatus the synergids are there antipodal cells are there and these uh, what uh, polar nuclei you know lp polar nuclei are there also there and fuse to produce uh, what a uh, secondary what a uh, new what uh, the nucleus and that is a uh, diploid see pollen grains are dispersed from the anther and carried by wind and other agency that is called as a pollination and after the pollination what uh, here the zygote formation taken place and then what uh, the process of syngamy taken place and then uh, the details of uh, uh, what uh, the life cycle of uh, angiosperm you can also uh, observe in uh, uh, the screen and that uh, uh, also available in your book also in book alli kuda ide just go through the book also how exactly the life cycle completes then so the thereby in all angiosperm plant here the fertilization take place and that uh, fertilization generally what you called as double fertilization double fertilization what is it double fertilization angiosperm dalli eradu fertilization tagolthade so what is double double fertilization so double fertilization means involvement of two fusion involvement of two fusion and that event is called the double fertilization and it is an a unique unique property of the angiosperm only angiosperm bitter mate elliyu nimage adu sigodilla yake kelidre here here the double fertilization in image illi the eradu sala fusion aagutade eradu sala fusion aagod eno adu so one of the sperm nodi alli in the previous uh, uh, diagram i have shown the st structure of the embryo sac in image here the what the egg cell and the diploid nucleus two n nucleus anta bartade and another one is a egg cell anta bartade and where each pollen grain sariyagi kelkoli each pollen grain produce two male gamete when the pollen grain shed down to the stigma and a pollen tube formation taken place and uh, so after the pollen tube the pollen grain discharge two male gamete the one male gamete fuse with one male gamete fuse with egg egg and that result in the formation of 2n zygote idu 2n zygote aithe ga this is a 2n zygote and then another male gamete is behind eradu gamete anta heldana one pollen grain release of two male gamete one male gamete fuse with the one of the egg of the embryo sac and that form a 2n zygote this is a diploid this is a diploid and then another male gamete and that another male gamete fuse with 2n nucleus nodi alli ide nodi in the diagram is there it is a already 2n nucleus and the diploid and that fuse one of the male gamete and that result in 3n zygote and the triploid zygote and this a triploid zygote generally is connoted into primary endosperm nucleus pen and this primary endosperm nucleus and that is uh, what required for development of the endosperm and that uh, nourishes the developing embryo and the primary endosperm nucleus in primary endosperm nucleus in that that will be endosperm again convert that and this primary endosperm what a nucleus convert into endosperm and that is nourish the developing embryo you do bk bk you do illa and that is highly not uh, 
uh, possible to develop the embryo. So, that is why in all angiosperm one what fusion that makes a zygote and another fusion that makes what triploid zygote that is called as a PEN primary endosperm nucleus and sometime it is also called as a triple fusion. Idike, triple fusion and then could I create a triple fusion and the creative character illy what a triploid diploid nucleus idu yeradu polar nucleus in the agrotha. So, this is one nucleus and this is one nucleus and that result in the diploid nature these are the two polar nuclei two polar nuclei uh, what uh, fuse to form a diploid nucleus and diploid nucleus fuse to form with one of the male gamete zygote and then one uh, what uh, egg uh, that fuse with the male uh, uh, sperm and that form a zygote. So, means uh, three time fusion taken place and that is why it is called as a triple fusion and so thereby in angiosperm here what uh, the uh, unique uh, process uh, uh, that play vital role in the development of the embryo ovary etcetera is the most important property of the this. So, thereby angiosperm <coughs> are the uh, most uh, uh, important uh, uh, the plant of uh, entire living world because they gives us uh, uh, large number of commercial product uh, the medicinal component then uh, food uh, just like uh, fruits uh, the vegetable and uh, uh, flower scented flower attractive flower and uh, economically uh, they also what uh, play very important role in the carrying the uh, pollination. So, in many field uh, the angiosperm role is there. So, that is why it is the most important and uh, uh, with this uh, here all the five division of a uh, kingdom plant is uh, completed and now last of the this one you have to go in uh, what general sense uh, the plant life cycle and alternation of uh, generation. What is that alternation of generation we have to see first. <coughs> alternation of generation. What is this alternation of generation? As I said earlier, so, alternation of generation means here in, in a sexually reproducing organism here both gametophyte and sporophyte sexual and the asexual or asexual and the sexual alternate one after the other and that process is called as alternation of generation. See in uh, all plant here the alternation of generation taken place in a such a way that gametophyte what alter next the sporophyte or after the sporophyte and there is a what gametophyte. So, like this uh, alternatively what the here the process taken place and with this only they can carry and they can complete their the life cycle. Here, here three different type of uh, alternation of generation uh, you can see in uh, what uh, all the plant and that is the what uh, the pattern of plant life cycle that is what the pattern of plant life cycles pattern of plant life cycle there are three pattern of plant life cycle is that that is one is haplontic next one is diplontic and last one is haplo diplontic what are all these haplontic, diplontic and haplodiplontic means what? So, haplontic life cycle means the haploid phase is a dominant. Okay. Diplontic life cycle means the diplontic phase is a dominant and haplontic, diplo, haplodiplontic in which both the phases are equal but dominant. So, in plant both haploid and diploid water cells can divide by mitosis sorry I calculate in plant both haploid and what the diploid cells can divide mitotically mitotically and this forms the haploid and diploid plant the bodies. Haploid plant body gametophyte produce haploid plant body means gametophyte produce the gametes by mitosis and after the fertilization the zygote also divide the zygote also divide by mitosis to produce diploid plant body that is called as what sporophyte diploid plant body is always sporophyte. This produces haploid spores by meiosis understood the what the sporophyte the produce what the spore by meiosis 
and such spore divide again by the water mitosis to form number of haploid plant body and when they germinate gives uh, the plant body. So, in this way here what during the any life cycle any sexually reproducing plant plant there is an uh, alternation of generation between the gametophyte and the haploid N and the sporophyte means it is what diploid and so that alternate that is the process called as what haplo there is a process called as what the alternation of generation. Now, uh, tell, let me uh, what explain you about uh, the one by one here is what a uh, haplodiplontic sorry not haplodiplontic it is the first one is a haplontic see haplontic phase haplontic phase this is a what a uh, one uh, the life cycle really what exactly happen is exactly happen is like this see really haplontic phase is a major haplontic really haplontic phase is a major and this is a diplontic diplontic and the two in the life cycle is stay it is baki will do the full you know ill in the ill in the and that is what haplontic life cycle you can see the diagram on the screen also in the haplontic gametophyte is a plant body in the plantic the gametophyte is a plant body and this gametophyte plant body produce gamete that is by the process called as a gametogenesis really gametes produce marks it is a gametes and there is by a gametogenesis when the male gamete and the female gamete male gamete and the female gamete undergone for the syngamy what is syngamy syngamy means a fusion of a male and the female and that result in the formation of zygote you can see it is to be on the screen also zygote formation and if it is a zygote and this is zygote now if it is a zygote and this is zygote if it is undergone for the meiosis not it meiosis agidre we can get the n what the spore haploid n means haploid spore and this haploid spore when once again germinate once again germinate and you will get the what plant you will again get the haplontic plant. So, means uh, here gametophyte is a plant in this uh, sporophyte generation is represented only by the zygote you know, sporophyte. This is a sporophyte and this entire is what the gametophyte sporophyte is still the only this much is a sporophyte and zygote undergoes meiosis to form haploid spores haploid spore and they divide mitotically to form they divide mitotically to form what the gametophyte and such a gameto what a fight plant body and it is a dominant phase photosynthetic photosynthetic phase and is a free living and develop one dot plant like birth and that plant like the bandra and once again it produce what gamete and repeat the cycle and the best example for that is a volvex volvex the spirogyra volvex spirogyra so means uh, generally you can see in uh, the algae chlamydomonas etc are the best example for the haplontic next one you see the diplontic so diplontic uh, is uh, almost a reverse of the this because in the diplontic uh, here what the sporophyte is a twin nan modlane heladene so pteridophyte etc the sporophytic is a dominant phase and that is why the sporophyte phase is a major phase and in this diploid sporophyte is a dominant photosynthetic independent phase photosynthetic independent phase not really and here in and this is a gametophyte this is only the gametophytic phase illi idu matra gametophytic phase and this is a sporophyte sporophyte means it is a twin this is a diplontic you know, diplontic and this is haplontic haplontic phase is a very small haplontic phase is a very small and this uh, sporophyte is uh, the twin and this sporophyte uh, what undergone for the gametogenesis is a gametogenesis and this uh, gametogenesis here carried by the meiosis meiosis and that produce the male and female gamete you know male and the female gamete and this male and female gamete when again meet not you ever do meet together and you know sexually meet together and once again result in the formation of zygote 
ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪುನಃ ಝೈಗೋಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಝೈಗೋಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಬಟ್ ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಸೆಲ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ 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 ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಎನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೊರೋಫೈಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಬಡಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪುನಃ ಒಂದು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಬಡಿ ತಯಾರಾಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಮೇಜರ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಗೆಮೆಟೋಫೈಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಟು ಫ್ಯೂ ಸೆಲ್ಡ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಟು ಫ್ಯೂ ಸೆಲ್ಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಲ್ಗೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ನಾ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹೆಪ್ಲೋ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೆಪ್ಲೋ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಹೆಪ್ಲೋ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಹೆಪ್ಲೋ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಹೆಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಎರಡು ಫೇಸ್ ಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ನೋಡಿ ಎ ಟೈಪ್ ಹೀಗೆ almost dominant type so haplontic and diplontic see this is a haplo haplo and this is a diplo both the phase is almost the dominant and it is the intermediate condition of the hair both gametophyte and sporophyte are multicellular both gametophyte and the sporophyte this is the sporophyte this is a sporophyte and this one is a gametophyte sporophyte and the gametophyte see the sporophyte understood the sporophyte and gametophyte alternate sporophyte and gametophyte alternate and see the gametophyte particularly that uh, uh, responsible for the production of the gametes and the, the sporophyte is a plant body see the sporophyte is a plant body and this this is sporophyte undergone for the meiosis understood and that result in the formation of the spore that result in the formation of spore that generally you can see this kind is in what the bryophyte and the pteridophyte ಬ್ರಾಫೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಬಟ್ ಟೆರಡೋಫೈಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿಯಾಗಿ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೋರೋಫೈಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೋರೋಫೈಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಮಿಯೋಟಿಕಲಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಗೆಮೆಟೋಫೈಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಯು ಸ್ಟಡಿಡ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಗೆಮೆಟೋಫೈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಗೆಮೆಟೋಜನಸಿಸ್ by gametogenesis and these gametogenesis process in which gametes are formed and these gametes undergone for syngamy gametes undergone for syngamy syngamy means fusion of male and the female gamete and that result in the formation of zygote if zygote is formed and then again sporophyte develop and there is a diploid so that all it is in the screen you can go Uh, according to the the diagram so like this sporophyte once again formed and this is sporophyte once again undergone for the meiosis idu matta pona meiosis ge hogutha and meiosis and if it is uh, meiotically it produces large number of spores meiotically it produces what large number of spore and once again spore germinate and then gametophyte plant body develop and again gametophyte plant body produce what gamete that is what haploid gamete and these haploid gamete male and female undergone for the syngamy once again zygote formation take place and then once again this zygote uh, convert into sporophyte and this sporophyte undergone for again meiosis so like this the repetition is taken place and in this way what here the all the three phase all the three phase and that is uh, what the haplontic the haplontic process and that is uh, what uh, the haplontic process in which uh, the haploid stage is a uh, dominant uh, and for that best example is uh, the algae and then uh, some chlamydomonas are there spirogyrus are there and then in uh, what a uh, diplontic phase uh, it is a uh, gametophyte is particularly is a very small stage and sporophyte is a very big stage and for that uh, uh, most of the gymnosperm gymnosperm angiosperm and then uh, what uh, some the alga also show the same hagagi uh, now gymnosperm angiosperm we have study madidre so allella jaasi age diplontic phase and then in the last some of the bryophyte and pteridophyte not some almost all almost all bryophyte and pteridophyte they show what 
ಹಿಯರ್ ಹೆಪ್ಲೋ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಹೆಪ್ಲಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜು ಕೂಡ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇದು ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆಯೋ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಹೆಪ್ಲಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜು ಕೂಡ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಇಂಟರ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಹೆಪ್ಲಾಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಇದು ಎರಡೂ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಸರಿ ಸಮಾನವಾಗಿ ಆಗಿರಬೇಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ದೀಸ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸ್ಪೋರೋಫೈಟ್ ಅಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟೋಫೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟೋಫೈಟ್ ಅಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟ್ ಸ್ಪೋರೋಫೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಯಾಲಜಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಸಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಆ್ಯನುವಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ಸೊ ಜನರಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಗೆ ದೆನ್ ಬ್ರಯೋಫೈಟಾ ಟೆರಿಡೋಫೈಟಾ ಜಿಮ್ನಾಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಎಂಜಿಯೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಅಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಷನ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆಪ್ಲೋ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕಿಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಡ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ಅಲ್ಗೆ ಬ್ರಯೋಫಾಟಾ ಟೆರೆಡೋಫಾಟಾ ಜಿಮ್ನೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಎಂಜಿಯೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎವ್ರಿ what division like algae bryophyta tridophyta all the class and one one example at least you have to remember so with this uh, this chapter is completed hope that you will make use of this uh, the class and go according to the uh, what uh, syllabus uh, uh, what you studied uh, that is the uh, same what is given in the book same uh, what i have explained you i have tried my level best to convince you and how much you you understood or not understood that is i don't know but uh, better you refer again the textbook also and get the notes from that and uh, you plus please uh, uh, complete your uh, own notes okay so with this uh, the plant kingdom chapter is completed and uh, thank you very much and uh, take care okay thank you